Hello, children. In our new series titled Never, Never Too young. young, we will study Paul's advice to young Timothy from First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve. There are four sentences in the verse, and we will study the verse sentence by sentence. In our last lesson, Paul advised young Timothy, "Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young." In this lesson, let's move on to the next sentence. Wow, Paul advised Timothy, "Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young." Then he goes on to say, "Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live." And that's our Bible memory verse taken from First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live. Talking about setting examples, who are some good examples in your life? My 大姐 my elder sister, she's very generous. She shares her blessing with others. She always help me whenever I'm in need. I know I can always go to her. She's always there for me. When I gave birth to Kairos ten years ago, I stayed at her house for three months, and she took care of me and my baby back then. My friend Pastor Lily, she's very brave. The last one year, she had many challenges. She lost her sister and then her husband to cancer. Yet she never gave up serving and help people with special needs. She's truly a hero of faith. Amen. And why is it important to be a good example? Being a good example is like being the light in a dark room. But when you shine with kindness, honesty, and goodness, you will light up the whole world around you. Wow! And you can influence others to do the same too. If you follow God in all you do and set an example for others, you can change the world, and others can learn from watching how you live. The truth is, people are always watching you. Your siblings are watching you. Your friends are watching you. Adults are watching you. One of the biggest ways you can make a difference for others is to show them a good example of what it means to be a Christian. Paul says that we are to set an example for believers. So how can we do that? We can set an example in what you say. Our words matter to God. Some of us we just talk too much, and the words we use, the way we talk, and what we talk about are all very important to God. The thing about words is this: it is just like this toothpaste that I have over here. And when I squeeze all the toothpaste out, do you think that I can try to put the toothpaste back? Hmm. Sadly, no. That is why the Bible says in Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty-nine, that we are to watch your talk. No bad words should be coming out from your mouth. Say what is good. Your words should help others to grow as Christians. So, what set us apart as believers? Firstly, we don't use filthy words. We don't speak words that are crude or bad. We don't take the Lord's name in vain, and that's why we don't curse or swear. We don't gossip. We don't say hurtful or rude things to others. Instead, we do use our words to encourage one another. We do use our words to praise God. So, children, that is how we can set an example. In what we say. Set an example in the way you live. Yes, children, live every moment, every day, and all day long to please Jesus and follow His commands. Are you helpful, kind, and respectful, or do others see you as rude, selfish? Or proud? Do you laugh at crude jokes or stay silent when others are mistreated? Would you act the same even if no one was around? Yes, children, our everyday actions and behavior matter. Give people no room to look down on you because you are young. Show others. That your life belongs to Jesus in every way.
When Jesus was a little boy, he grew up doing the things that little boys do. He played games with his friends and he went to school to study. The Bible tells us that Jesus obeyed his parents in everything they said. Jesus was a good son. He made his parents very happy. Even as a little boy, Jesus loved God the Father. He learned how to treat people nicely. He was very well loved. As Jesus is, so must we. Like Jesus, we must set example for others in what we say and how we live. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Remember, our Bible memory verse from 1 Timothy 4.12 says, Set an example for the believers in what you say and in how you live. Yes, I know, it can be very difficult to say and do the right things all the time. Perhaps some of us have not been good examples in what we say and in how we live. But let us pray and ask God to not only forgive us, but to help us to be good examples. Are you ready? Let's say this prayer together. Dear God, I am sorry. Forgive me for not being a good example. Forgive me for using bad words and saying hurtful words to my friends, to my family and loved ones. Forgive me for being unkind and disrespectful. Help me to choose what is right all the time. Help me to be more like Jesus in what I say and in what I do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.